Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this very quick RPG Maker AMV tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add um, the jobs or classes to your um, main menu, so you can just access your uh, job change system from anywhere. So if we um, go to that menu, I I've included a show text to let the player know that they can use Q and W to cycle between actors, and on a gamepad they can use the left one and the right one bumpers to do the same thing. So if we're pressing Q and W, we're switching between our actors really quickly here. And um, we can select our class, we can select our subclass, and change them around in our learning skills and everything. And it's good to be able to do this because as you're on the field fighting, getting your job points, you want to be able to upgrade and not have to go all the way back to town just to change that. So let me show you how to do that very quickly. So the first thing you're going to want to do is create a common event. So let's go to our database and go to our common events, find a new slot, and take note of that number. Then we're going to show a text and input. You can use Q and W to cycle between actors, gamepad, left one, or right one buttons. This is optional, but some players won't know how to switch actors, and they might have to press escape and go back into it, escape and go back into it. So just let them know. It might save them some time and make the, your players happier. Uh, then we're going to do a simple plugin command, open class. We're going to go tab three uh, under advanced, hit plugin uh, command, go open class. One word, op uh, capital O on open, capital C on class. And then that's all you have to do for the common event, but take note of the number you use. So then we're going to need some plugins to do this. So you're going to need the Yanfly Engine Core Engine. You're going to need the Main Menu Manager, and you're probably going to want the Class Change Core and the Subclass as well expansion. Otherwise, why would you need this, right? Um, I was originally going to put this on the Character Generator, but that tutorial was running very long, so that's why I decided to make a separate video for that. So put uh, your plugins in this order, Core Engine, Class Change Core, Subclass Expansion, and Main Menu Manager. So after you've got all those installed, turn them all on and then uh, go to your Main men Menu Manager. You're going to scroll all the way down to number 81, and you're going to see that there, there's already some common events set up and everything's already uh, uh, predefined for you and optimized. So all you have to do is change this one that says Common Event 1 to Classes or Jobs. Make sure you use the quotations on this one. You can use single or double quotations, it won't matter. And then underneath this, you're going to change this one to Jobs. And um, you can set classes, you can change the names. As long as you don't use a name that's already predefined, like Status or something like that, Abilities, then uh, it'll work fine. Uh, this next one, uh, Show, is going to, if you set this from False to True, then it's going to show it on the menu, but it'll be grayed out unless you say Enabled. So if you want it to be uh, accessible from the beginning, you'll set true and true. And then underneath here, you're going to put the number of the common event that you've put the open class co uh, plugin command in. This, you can just leave the same. If, you, if it's actually blank for some reason, you would type this dot call capital C on common, capital D on event dot bind in parentheses this. It should be already set up for you, though. Um, if you want to... Um, operate this in another uh, in more advanced things you can go to the help file there's plenty of uh, information here if you would like to set the menu uh, on the menu but grayed out by default go to your class change core and on the help file you have the plugin commands right down here so you can uh, enable that later so say there's a short tutorial where you don't want them to access something you can do that just have it show true enabled false uh, or enabled false show true uh, manipulate that to see to however you like and then you can use these plugin commands in any event call that you use to uh, unlock it as you see fit. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for your support. And watch my character generator video. A lot of effort went into it, and it was, I think it's really awesome, and I would like for you guys to see that. But uh, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome. Thanks for uh, everything you guys have done. Once again, I know I'm rambling on, but we'll see you in the next tutorial.